The Magnificat is one of the songs that many of us remember the most that we see in scripture, that we see specifically in the New Testament. And it's just this beautiful song of praise and glory that we just heard Mary giving in honor of the child Jesus who is about to come. But the thing is, is that this song that Mary gives isn't unique in scripture. All the way back in 1 Samuel, in fact, in the second chapter of 1 Samuel, we get Hannah. And Hannah is a woman who was not able to bear a child. She wasn't able to bring a child into this world. And this was something that she was sad about and prayed for and offered the child that she might have up to God in service to him. And so when Hannah finally does have this child, she breaks into a song, a song that's very similar to what we hear in Mary's song in the Magnificat. And this song is for Samuel, one of the great prophets of Israel. In fact, the prophet who anointed two of Israel's kings, and one of those was David, who of course is Jesus's ancestor. So Hannah's song is in thanksgiving for this child long awaited. And Mary's song is similar, but Mary wasn't in the same boat. She was betrothed at the time. She would have been a young girl, probably a teenager. She wasn't expecting to have a child. And in fact, having a child that wasn't her betrothed would have put her in great danger, danger of death even, uh, specifically danger of being stoned to death in her day and age. And yet, because this child has been foretold to her by one of the messengers of God, by an angel, she knows that this child to come is from God. She knows that this child is God's will. And even though this child is putting her life in danger, Mary can still rejoice because she is helping fulfill God's will. Mary is the childbearer, the one who brings our Lord into this world. Not because there's something on the surface at least that's special about her. We're talking about a young teenage girl. A young teenage girl in Roman-occupied Palestine. We're talking about a young girl from a poor family, not somebody who is well-educated, not somebody who would have been unique in any sort of way in her day and age. But what makes Mary great is her faith and trust in the Lord. She's been given this task by God to bear the Son of God into the world in a way that would have put her own life in danger. And yet not only is she able to trust God that everything's gonna end up okay, but she's also able the task that God find just in the Lord. And so it's because of this trust, because of her holding on to the will of God. That's the reason that God chooses her to be the God bearer in this world. 
And it's for that reason that she is an example for all of us to follow in our own lives and in our own faith.